Hey, what's up, guys? Skullcrusher here, and welcome to Let's Play Game. Yeah, it's a game. It's called Game. But what game is it actually? It's not called Game. What? It's Overcast Wall in the Werewolf. If you were wondering, I've heard a lot about this game, and I have played a while through it. But I'm just gonna start from the beginning. All right, let's get into it. All right. Let's start. Okay, it's loading. Alright. Oh, if you're wondering, it's a western sort of horror game. Overcast. Da da da! For years, Raven Town remained in peace. People planted and gathered their seeds with harmony. Nearby lived a hunter called Walden. Oh, they have a cult? <laughs> he was known as the Black Sheep of the region of lonely and sad being. Of course, nothing could be expected from a person who lost his part of his life in a shooting. Walden was attacked by three of the most dangerous and assassins of the time. The hunter was searching for a rare boot to burn that year that Wearing masks, the band squires are not being And their bullets didn't fly that well. After being hit by his first shot, Walden would return to the hunter, managed to draw his gun and fire three accurate shots on him. Rough start. I don't care. He was sweating. It was impossible to believe he was still alive, but somehow he still was. Is, is my mouse still? Is my mouse turned up? Yes, it is. All right. A few years passed, and for the first time, Walden went outside. Walden decided to leave his house while the sun was. That's basically why I'm at. Oddly, the blue sky started the dark and it explained the Walden calmly liked his loyal lantern and returned home. <laughs> Hami, that's where it returns. Hami. <laughs> Hami, I'm home! Alright, let's start. Oh and yeah, if you're wondering, I'm using a different recording software rather than Bandicam because I tried recording this game with Bandicam, didn't work out so well. All right, so you know, I'm just not—I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go up here. If you're wondering why, it's because of this. You need a fully loaded gun, and you get the ammo here, so you have to have your six bullets first. Well, you can, you can get your six bullets to any, any way you want. You can get the gun first if you want, so. And also, the gun's down here, so. That was loud. It's already loud. Alright. Oh, if you are wondering, this game is really hard. Like, it took me so long to beat that third part, but I'm not gonna spoil anything of the story or anything for any of you viewers who are new to this story. How come at the top of my screen it says the thing is running at 6 FPS? Uh, cross the bridge, cross the bridge. I remember like writing a story that's based off this, but I did not even know this existed when I wrote that story. Which is really weird. Like, I wrote that. Wait, this game came out in the early 2000s, 2014. But I wrote, I made this story in like the late 2013. Which is weird. Alright. Walden had, had a 
had felt fear in years. However, this was about to change. Yeah. I can tell. Desperate screams echoed through the mountains. Sounds of the scratch the scratching entered the hut. <laughs> Who oh, just lag. Sorry about that. Rate Raven Town. Raven Town. I know exactly what to do, so. Tab to open my mini map. I was pressing the wrong key. I was pressing the square back bracket by accident. Get some wet. Close. I got like my swim. Get up. You have to head towards the like highlight marking on the map. Yeah, I already know that. So I know exactly what to do. Go to this. Where's the town? Cold. Boy, no, those were bandits. Yeah, I got a key. I got myself some key. a little kid um the cross with like the dead corpse of jesus on it i i used to think that that dead corpse was supposed to be the corpse of like um i don't know her name like she was like i don't remember she oh, i don't remember her name fuck where am i going And yeah, I'm not gonna be using Bandicam for this game because I tried using Bandicam before, it didn't work out properly, and I kept dying because I wasn't playing it in full screen. I'm going with full screen games instead of it like Windows. And this gaming recording software I have records full screen games properly. Other and also this is free. You can get this. Software for free if you want. Jesus. Shut up. Yeah, this game is. Oh, yeah. I don't have my face cam for this one because for some reason my face cam won't work on this recording software. Like, I tried recording an episode of Gmod, which I'm not gonna upload. I tried recording Gmod. It recorded my voice and it recorded the game just fine, but it didn't record like my face cam. Alright, get rid of that shit. Something's gonna kick my arse once it shows its face. The part I'm stuck at in this game is um, I'm not gonna spoil it or anything, but it's in like the dungeon of pain or something. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Apparently these jump scares still work good on me. Scare the crap out of me. That's what I love about horror games. That if you... Or this isn't really a horror game. It's not considered a horror game. And it wasn't made, made to be a horror game. At least I don't... Hello? Insignificant creature. Alright. Let's see. Fear, terror, what is fear? Fear, terror, weakness, horror, panic. Yeah, I don't need to read your poem, fucker. Alright. Firstly, I would like you to head to Seven Moon Forest located in the North East. What? Look for some wood and light a fire. Wait until it attracts the most treacherous and venomous animal of the place and then kill it and collect its teeth. Once rid of the, the, I don't really care. Okay, get out. Okay, now I just need you to escape the town. Something's gonna kick my ass once it shows its face. Down, down. 
I'm good with animals. I'm like a good animal person, but there's this one. I wouldn't really. It's an insect, and, and it always scares the crap out of me whenever I see like a giant one and stuff. If you're wondering why it's, it's spiders, I do not like spiders. I despise them. They are creepy. But that was a bunch of words. Walden ha was completely tormented and. And his face on a rock. Could explain what had happened in his vin village. Vintage. <laughs> I was at vintage. The mysterious be being left him a letter containing a challenge. Who could that be? Thousands of questions passed through the hunter's mind, but he knew one thing. The, this mission was only was the only way to unravel all this mystery. Yeah, and apparently it was written by the most deadliest being in this entire place, which is not that thing that the thing that well. Like, you saw that illusion, right? So that's the final boss of the game, if you're wondering. It shows up in the next chapter. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Fine, fuck you. There we go. It's like amnesia physics right here. It can be pretty tedious. But also, if you're wondering why I'm not shooting anything, I need to have all this ammo for... I'll show you in a second. It will show up. Once I set this fire up. And if I die while I'm recording, I, I will be humiliated. Well, especially on this part, because I'm actually pretty good at fighting this boss fight, or mini boss, or whatever. Because, like, the bosses in this game are insane. Some of them, at least. Uh. Oh, it's lag. Okay, let me give you a hint on what this is. This is a game all werewolf. Well, I'm not gonna question this game by any of its meanings, but why is there a snake as a boss fight? I don't know, I'm not gonna question this fantasy. Where did he come from? Jesus, what was that? Well, Walden died. If you're wondering what this is, this is a death screen that makes you take all the way back from the beginning of the chapter. Okay, that's it for this time, Skull Crushers. See you in the next video.